Ferguson Marine Engineering Limited is a shipyard located in Port Glasgow on the River Clyde in Scotland. It is the last remaining shipbuilder on the Lower Clyde, and is currently the only builder of merchant ships on the river. The company's mainstay has long been roll on, roll off ferries, primarily for Caledonian McBrain, the largest of which will operate between Ardrossan and Isle of Arran, the MV Glen Sanix, which is also Ferguson's largest product ever built. Ferguson's also built three of the world's first roll-on, roll-off hybrid-powered car ferries MV Katrina, MV Halag and MV Lochinvar. Ferguson's has built over 360 ships. On Friday 15 August 2014, the shipyard appointed KPMG as administrators, placing the company into administration. Wednesday 10 September 2014 saw Clyde Blowers Capital, an industrial company owned by Jim McColl, purchase the yard for £600,000. Clyde Blowers Capital have invested just over £25 million in the shipyard and have increased the workforce to a core of just over 200 employees as of 2018 has 420 employees. Topic history The company was founded by the four Ferguson brothers Peter, Daniel, Louis and Robert who left the Fleming and Ferguson shipyard in Paisley to lease the Newark yard in Port Glasgow in March 1903. The Ferguson brothers acquired the freehold in the Newark yard in 1907. The company was purchased by John Slater Limited Amalgamated Industries in 1918, but returned to control of the Ferguson family in the late 1920s. Lithgow's Limited purchased an interest in the business in 1955 after Bobby Ferguson's death and took control of the company in 1961. The company remained a separate entity within the Scott Lithgow Group from 1969 to 1977. The company was nationalised and subsumed into British shipbuilders in 1977. The business was merged with the Isleshire Shipbuilding Company to form Ferguson Isleshire Limited in 1980. Ferguson and Isleshire were separated again in 1986 and Ferguson merged with Appledore Shipbuilders in Devon to form Appledore Ferguson. By the late 1980s the only yards still held in state ownership were the smaller Appledore and Ferguson yards. Ferguson was demerged from Appledore and acquired by Greenock-based engineering firm Clark Kincaid in 1989 and started trading as Ferguson Shipbuilders. Clark Kincaid itself was acquired by Kavayana and became Kavayana Kincaid in 1990. Ferguson Shipbuilders Limited was sold by Kavayana to Ferguson Marine plc in 1991. The entire shareholding in Ferguson Marine was acquired by the Holland House Electrical Group in 1995. Former owner Kavayana Kincaid was sold to Scandiaverkan in 1999 and later ceased manufacturing at its Cartsburn site in Greenock during 2000. In September 2014, following the acquisition by Clyde Blowers Capital, the company was renamed Ferguson Marine Engineering Limited. On 21 November 2017, the yard launched the UK's first dual-fuel ferry, MV Glen Sanix. <laughs> <laughs> Shipyard capacity Building berth, slipway 4,000 square meters 120 meters by 60 meters concrete reinforced building berth, 1 by 36.5 ton traveling tower crane Main fabrication shed Build bay 1 to 1.100 square meters L55 meters by W20 meters by H9 meters 2x overhead cranes Build bay 2 to 2.400 square meters L120 meters by W20 meters by H9 meters 4x overhead cranes New build bay 3 to 1.950 square meters L50 meters by W30 meters by H25 meters 2x75 halves x10 ton overhead crane subsea offshore fabrication shed 1225 square meters L70 meters by W15 meters by H10 meters Keyside facilities berth 189 meters, berth 250 meters. Weekly fabrication output 150 tons. Yard working area of 10. 498 square meters. Topic: <laughs> List of vessels built since 2000. Ferguson Shipbuilders Limited. Sterling Shipping Company. MV Sterling Iona 2073.8 by 16.3 meters offshore supply tug 
M. V. Sterling Dura 73.8 by 16.3 meters offshore supply tug. Northern Lighthouse Board. N. L. V. Polestar 51.52 by 12 meters medium buoy tender. Caledonian Maritime Assets. M. V. Hebrides 2001 99 by 15.8 meters marine diesel R O P A X ferry. M V Lock Shearer 2007 54.27 by 13.9 meters marine diesel row row ferry M V Halleg 2013 43.5 by 12.2 meters diesel electric hybrid row row ferry M V Lock and Var 2014 43.5 by 12.2 meters diesel electric hybrid row row ferry Western Ferries MV Sound of Scarba 2001 50 by 15 meters marine diesel row row ferry MV Sound of Shuna 2003 50 by 15 meters marine diesel row row ferry Center for Environment Fisheries and Aquaculture Science RV Keffer's Endeavor 2003 72.92 by 16.11 meters research vessel Scottish Fisheries Protection Agency FPV Minna 2003 47.7 by 10 meters fisheries protection FPV Jura 2006 84 by 13.1 meters fisheries protection Tamer Bridge and Torpoint Ferry Joint Company FB Plim 2 2004 73 by 20.35 meters row row chain ferry FB Tamer 2 2005 73 by 20.35 meters row row chain ferry FB Liner 2 2005 73 by 20.35 meters row row chain ferry Airbus UK MV Aranig Vower 2007 18.5 by 5 meters suction dredger Ferguson Marine Engineering Limited 2014 plus Caledonian Maritime Assets MV Katrina 2016 43.5 by 12.2 meters diesel electric hybrid row row ferry MV Glen Sanix 2019 102.4 by 17 meters LNG marine diesel hybrid ROPAX ferry Hull 802 2019-20 102.4 by 17 meters LNG marine diesel hybrid ROPAX ferry Mangostau ACV Solutions Limited part of CMI Offshore Limited Group Hull 803 2019 55 by 24 meters air cushion barge Invelusa Marine Services MV Helen Rice 2019 21 by 8.35 meters aquaculture support vessel MV Callista Helen 2019 26.5 by 12 meters aquaculture support vessel Orkney Islands Council Hull 806 2020-21 steel will be cut in October 2019 39 9 by 10 meters hydrogen hybrid row row ferry Topic potential future shipbuilding Ferguson Marine is part of two consortiums for the Type 31 frigate program for five frigate which is worth £1.25 billion these vessels are for the Royal Navy. The consortiums are with Babcock International, BMT Limited, Thales Group, Harland & Wolfe with their Arrowhead 140 design based on Ivor Huitfeldt class frigate hull form and with Atlas Electronic UK, Tussenkrupp Marine Systems, Harland & Wolfe with what is thought to be the MEKOA 200 design. On 25 December 2018 the Greenock Telegraph revealed that the yard has three contracts in the pipeline and has letters of intent for three fishing trawlers worth £11 million for unknown companies. On 6 March 2019 in the Fish Farm magazine a story talking the shipyard said that Ferguson Marine Engineering's chief naval architect Chris Dunn said, We had to diversify from traditional markets like ferries, we just put ourselves out there as a shipbuilder who could build anything. We have one project in the pipeline he said, is looking at the fish farms themselves rather than their support vessels, he add, and we want to be a part of that. On 7 June 2019 in the Financial Times it said, M. R. McColl said plans to build large fishing trawlers had been slowed by uncertainty created by the ferry dispute, which had left the yard's financials a complete mess. But he said that the flow of work showed that it could be viable. Other than these two ferries, we've got a really buoyant business here, he said. Topic yard numbers The company applied yard numbers which started from the end of the sequence used by Fleming and Ferguson from 1902. 
It then used yard numbers which started from the end of the sequence used by the Eilshire Yard from 1985. 